Welcome to another repair video, this time an iPhone with a network issue. I know right, an iPhone with an issue, that's not right. I mean, you pay for your iPhone almost a thousand dollars and you have an issue with it. Anyway, as you can see there is an issue with the phone and that's why he can't activate. And the issue is that there is a no modem firmware or an IME number. The phone looks clean, no signs of water damage or a previous repair shop involved. So, as always, thanks Apple for your contribution in making the life of a repair community harder by making me remove the battery to remove the board from the housing. Oh, and to separate the board, I need to desolder that same flex cable. Good job, Apple. Set the temperature and keep an eye on the board. Don't want to overheat and damage the CPU or something else. Next, the basic cleaning process of cleaning the pads, which takes forever. Again, well done Apple. Well, let's hope that this issue is an easy repair. And let's connect the board with this Spider-Man tool. And then try and so restore the phone to see if it was a bad soldering joint that caused our not able to activate the phone issue. I manually entered the phone into recovery mode to restore it. One eternity later. And there was the issue, a simple bad soldering joint between the boards. Eventually. But to make sure everything is working, we'll activate the phone and insert a SIM card to check the network of the phone. Yep. 
all good. So I will show how to reboil the boards in this video. As in the other videos, I didn't show that. I use low temperature solder, a 148 degrees, as the lower ones I used before when the phone gets a little hot, which is never, as iPhones are the best phones in the world. The solder joint crack, causing a separation between the boards, which leads to some functions not working in the phone. There is a higher 158 degrees solder, which I don't use as it requires higher temperature to reboot the board which could cause damage to the boards while reboiling. Well now, I like using this solder and recommend it as its temperature is optimum for reboiling. Very important, after soldering back the boards, check if all the functions are working. So that will be it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more interesting repair videos. And if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comment section down below, or you can contact me through the links in the description, and I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching, see you next time.